welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah, and no, it's not on a Saturday vloggy thing. This is an acquisitions video. There has been shopping, there has been gifting. Yes, just want to let you know about some things that I have acquired in just the last little bit, as in today. Okay, first thing, this is awesome, and I'm, yes, I have it in a mug right now. This came from a dear friend. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Sean. Uh, don't ask fashion jewelry. Not sure where it came from. Don't really care because I'm kind of in love. Look, little skeleton hands. They're clips, but uh, they could totally work as a barrette. Tuck the hair up underneath the hand. And yes, they are super cute. Not sure what I'm going to be doing with them yet. I'm sure I'll do multiple things with them, including putting them in my hair. Maybe when I go to Mad World this year. Who knows? But they are super cute. So I had to show you those. Also, I went to Dollar General. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have gone to Dollar General, but let's go through the stuff that I have. And yes, I'm leaving the squishy stuff for last. Uh, these will not end up on a, on a Tuesday review. These are for the hubby because apparently he has an inner suburban white girl and he likes pumpkin spice once a year. These are for him. Werther's Original Limited Edition Harvest Caramels Pumpkin Spice Soft Caramels. Blah, 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 blah. It's pumpkin spice. It's happening for the holiday or for the, for the Halloween season. In the dollar section, they had some micellar cleansing water, which I do like to use because it does not burn my eyes when I try to do that stuff. Got some stickers. Yes, if you receive any mail from me, you will notice the stickers on the envelopes and such. Oh my gosh, those are cute. Puppies and cuties. And I love me some smiley faces, especially when they're colorful. So yeah, those were a buck a piece as well. And uh, wiggly, they call them wiggly eyes. I call them googly eyes. 125 of them. Why an odd number? Don't eyes usually come in pairs of two? Yeah, but anyway, 125 of them for a buck. There is that. Now, oh, also, in their dollar section, sensitive teeth toothpaste. Yeah, I use it about three times a week because it does help with sensitivity. Putting that over there, as usual, recording, so the bed is covered in stuff again. Um, oh. Something I had to buy, and you know it will end up on a Tuesday review at some point. Apple Cider Donut Oreos. Who knows? I don't know what they're gonna taste like, but a uh, limited edition like Oreo does with all the weirdo flavors, and I'll be trying the weirdo flavors at some point. Be looking for that video because, oh yes, they will get it. I'm sure they will get it. Now, everything else in here is yarn adjacent or yarn related. Um, this, these two things are actually yarn adjacent because I like doing the towel toppers. These are summer ones, obviously. Hello Summer and Aloha with the pineapple. Super cute uh, towels printed on both halves. They're marked a dollar, but because it's after season or end of season or whatever, they were only 75 cents a piece, and each one will make two of the towels that I make with the toppers. Now, yes, I do have a, a bag full of towels already to use, but I hadn't seen these, and I really like the colors in them. They are awesome. Now, I did, believe it or not, find some yarn at Dollar General. Now, the yarn at Dollar Tree ends up working out to be cheaper at a dollar a skein, but I wanted to get these. These were colors that I did not have. And uh, these are 100% cotton. The ones at Dollar Tree are 80-20. Excuse me, 85-15 uh, cotton polyester blend at, in that Just Cotton series. These are Crafter's Closet Yarn by Art Skills for medium. Uh, what does it say? What does it say? It says hand wash, cool, cold, do not bleach, dry flat, do not iron, do not dry clean. It's 100% cotton, y'all. It's getting used in the kitchen, okay? Does this even have a color name? It says it's made in India. I don't know. I don't, I don't even see a color name. I guess you look at it and just decide for yourself. I would kind of call that um, 
green. Okay, got two of these, buck seventy-five a piece for them. Okay, also all the same specs. Matter of fact, speaking of specs, 120 yards, 109 meters, 70.8 grams. That's what these are. I got two of these in black. Actually, in that light, they're looking kind of brown. They really are black, but on my camera, you know, you know how that goes with the phone camera and all of that. And two of these in these multicolors. And the multicolors, just like usual, in every brand that I have ever seen, there's less yardage or meterage. These are only 56.6 grams or 93.2 meters. Still the dollar 75 though, but those are the colors. Nice little multicolor thing going there. Yeah, these are getting made into kitchen things or to washcloths or something. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen there. Just wanted to pop on and uh, let you know the girl's been shopping. This will save some time in the Saturday vloggy videos because those can get kind of long sometimes. I end up doing lots of things, but I was really excited to find um, yarn at that particular Dollar General store. I had not found it at any of the Dollar Generals in the area. This is not one of the bigger ones. Oh, also, tell me if you're finding this in your area for Dollar General. They have a produce section, y'all. I about fell over when I saw this. An actual produce section with prices that aren't bad. They, they're comparable to the grocery stores, which also surprised me. They, just pretty basic stuff, nothing exotic. They had like green peppers, there was lettuce, there were cucumbers in packages, there were um, apples and plums, which they had labeled as prunes, which I thought was weird. Uh, grapes, um, just an assortment of vegetables and fruits in a produce section at Dollar General. Whoa. Yeah. I just found, think that's fantastic because there are a lot of areas in this country, at least, where we have food deserts. And that's where you can find other kinds of stores, but there's no grocery stores around because grocery stores operated on a very slim profit margin. And if they can't make money, they're not opening a store there. So it is tough in some areas, especially in inner cities. This is by no means an inner city. It's in town, in our little town. But in town, in our little town, right across the street, there's a housing development. And a lot of these folks are lower income. Uh, there used to be a grocery store there, but it was owned by the same people who own a really big grocery store down the road. They decided just to close one and keep the other one open. And that's fine if you're driving a car, if you have a car. If you don't have a car, that's about five miles of walking to go to the grocery store. This much closer. It's almost directly across the street. They can at least pick up groceries now. They also have had for a while a refrigerated and a frozen section with stuff that's not terrible. They actually have ground beef. They actually have um, seafood. Not seafood seafood, you know, frozen seafood, but still, that's fine. You can get groceries there. But a produce section at Dollar General, yes, keep me from having to go to Walmart because they usually have the biggest selection of everything. Anyway, thanks for coming by. I appreciate you stopping by. Check the description for more information on anything. And um, I'd love it if you hit that like button on your way out. And if you're not subscribed already, click that subscribe button because I'd love to see you come back. Thanks, y'all.